sat and we sat and we sat. Except for one brief 20-minute leg stretch in the terminal, passengers were on board this air tranjet on the ground from 7.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. Julie Ralston sent us pictures. We've got kids, they're getting antsy, you know. Um, we have a 10-month-old baby. She did well, but it, got, it was getting hot on the plane because they didn't have the engines running where you had cool air. Being a guy in his early 60s, it's kind of rough on me, but it was a lot tougher on the children. There were a lot of children that were on there that uh, I, I'm, I'm amazed at how good they were sitting there all that time. Uh, during that entire time, they came by once with the water, and uh, there's no food offered. I talked tonight to an Air Trans spokesman. Do you have any kind of a policy that when people are waiting on the plane that long, they should be offered food? They should not have been waiting that long. I mean, that, that is clearly um, a mistake. AirTran is new to Columbus. He says the enthusiastic crew was determined to get the passengers to Orlando. But the ice was so thick that four truckloads of de-icer failed. Towards the end, I, I, I'd say it is mutiny, pretty much. AirTran finally sent a jet from Atlanta that got the passengers to Orlando. The airline candidly admits it made mistakes. It's one of those when, you know, you try it once, you probably should have just said, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we tried it, we made our best attempt, we're sorry, um, we're going to cancel the flight.